I'm Kaya Didi, and this is Walkabout's Templates, Zerzura, Easy, All Holes in One. Hole one. Pop for that first green in a way that it'll roll over that dirt. And you see how it kind of goes in that little dip, that little valley there? It'll often roll you right to the hole. Two. I putt behind me. So it'll bank off the wall behind me and catch a better arc to go down over there. This was harder to get in the hole than I thought. It gets over there all the time. Just took longer than I thought it should have. <laughs> Three. Nice straight shot to get down there um, to bank it off that wall. But do notice that you're going to putt closer to the left side of that corner to get the angle right. Or just a nice big cluttered space. <laughs> this one took a little bit, um, not too crazy long, but um, you will see that I kind of bank it off to the side here on the left, and that got it around some of the debris on the ground. It's an Anubis pattern. This one, of course, <laughs> just you gotta hit that little narrow opening, then you got it. This was the killer, right here. Took took uh, the longest by far. So tried it straight ahead. Um, that got me a lot of shots like this. Oh my god, seriously, what the heck. Then, to the left, I realized would kind of bank it back there. A um, lot of close calls on this course. But the banking it off the left there, <laughs> right, was really the closest. Um, and so, eventually, it finally paid off. <laughs> Wasn't even looking. So, here's my tips for this one. And this is important, because it took me a long time to figure this out. Don't look. Just don't watch. It knows you want it. Also, you need to floss it through the butt cheeks of the Egyptian god of your choice. This apparently blesses the golf ball and makes everything happen correctly. Seven. Bank it tight there to your left. Get the right angle so it'll pop down that little hole and then maybe it'll go in. It'll at least get you in the area. Eight. I'm sure there's a good straight shot to hit that obelisk and get it to go down as well. But both ways I did it, um, I just had more consistent success getting it in the right area by having it be more of a zigzag to get down there. Gotta hit with some power though, of course. Nine. Okay, well, there's the obvious path to take and the one I would do in tournament, but you could skip it if you hit it in the right spot on the wall there and then it'll carry over. That did not really want to do a hole in one and get in the right place. And honestly, that's just rude. 10. Yep, another one of these little straight shots. This course has a lot of those. And there's a fun version of that in my hole in fun at the end. 11, just around the pyramid. And honestly, both of those are pretty boring. So hey, here's 11 from 10. Much more interesting. See that golf ball? Remember what that is on the pyramid and go have a look. 12. So many ways to get that in there, of course. Not a very hard one. Um, and I was trying to get other things in the room, like with the cats and stuff, and it just... Hole in ones just left and right. Like, really was easy to get it just to bop in there, including taking it right off the cats. <laughs> so, so many ways. Just kept getting more chaotic. This was the second hardest. Almost as hard as that other one. But notice how chaotic all this is coming down. By far, I would get closer to it, the chaos route, just because it doesn't want to bump over that way. But when I actually got it, it was on a straight shot, which I had tried so many times and didn't get near, because it won't bump back over to that left side. And so you'll see it taps that wall, and that's what gave it just enough of a bend to get it to carry over. Really hard to repeat, though. 14. Slow and careful. Just the right spot and just the right speed. 
and you will actually get it to carry through all those. And sometimes it'll actually go in the hole. Talk about those straight shots. And <laughs> this one's like straight up the pyramid, so it's so much harder. But if you get it perfectly straight, it just will roll perfectly straight. Including if you get it to bounce out there off the stairs and all, it will still hold perfectly straight. You can see it right here. Like it just doesn't waver. So, for some more super straight putting, not always my strength. This one, you gotta get that speed in there. Then you can do this faster version, bounce it off the back wall. Pick your poison. Which one's easier to pull off? And then they just take it up to 11. Still gotta putt so straight. But now it's got to hit just so, so that it'll bounce and roll just so. Because if you do it too far, it's definitely going to bounce out onto the tiles. This one took a little while. It may have been the third longest one to get. And then 18, they're like, ugh, to hell with all the straight putting. Let's just make a nice 90 degree angle in there. Much easier than the others. Wasn't too bad. Got this in the first couple of tries. We went to Egypt in 1999, my husband and I, and our guide used to yell, Tally ho! when he was trying to find the tour group. <laughs> so I always think of that word with Egypt. Full and fun. Look at the toes. Oh my god, I love that they have feet. It was really too... It, I was surprised how long it took me to notice that. I should have noticed it sooner. Well, here's hole two from hole one. Again, those Discord challenges, a lot of fun. Five from six, but of course, I got that a lot because I had to putt six so many times. Oh, that is the tightest ring around, like, full circle I've ever had. This, oh my god, it went through the thing backwards. Hilarious. Yeah, I would have killed for that shot. <laughs> so many shots on this one, including all the way around the room and across the boards and still kind of got in the area crazy. This one, so many holes in one. I was so busy trying to take a picture of the cat having it bounce off its head, I completely didn't notice it was almost another hole in one. That would have been hilarious. Hey, these guys, we see them again. Guess where they ended up. And this was, I really can't believe how long it took me to notice the sand coming out of the ceiling in lots of different places. I just, I love that little detail. Although, seriously, there's no sand down there. What is happening? Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like.